one Phillips green space, perfect fit from the configurator, printed light fitting. There you go. Yeah, I wasn't really meaning that, Gary. When I said printed light fittings, I meant these light fittings are actually printed. Sorry, 3D printed. Sorry, so you're telling me this light fitting here, this one here, and this one here have been printed. Is that what the big slot on the side of our printer is for then? Uh, no, we're not printing here. That's for the envelopes, Gary. Oh, right, okay. But, uh, yeah, these are actually, yeah, 3D printed in a factory now. 3D printing, if you've ever seen prototypes of things before, or perhaps you have a little hobbyist machine. Yeah, not something you think about finished products. They're sort of used to sort of proving the concept before you, um, before you commit to some heavy tooling. Uh, but these are fully functioning light fittings with an incredible environmental footprint, but they are in fact 3D printed. Okay, just because we can do something, it doesn't mean that we have to do something. So why would I want to start 3D printing my light fittings? Okay, so these are uh, downlights designed to replace compact fluorescent downlights. So if you think of the problem it solves, there's lots of these out there in the world. Let's have a look then. Um, these were never very efficient in the first place because you've got your light source buried deep back in the reflector there. And, you know, the light has to bounce around before it even escapes the fitting. You can get retro pits that go in there. Right, but yeah. again, then you're putting something a little bit more efficient all the way back in a fitting that's not very efficient. It's better if you want to save energy, implement some new control options to go for uh, LED technology, but with a whole new fitting. But that could mean that I've got to do a, almost a complete refurbishment. So if I'm starting taking large light fittings out of a, a ceiling, it could be that I'm going to have to replace that ceiling or perhaps patch it. And I've got a funny feeling I can't make holes smaller in order to put my light fittings in very easily. Yeah, we haven't figured that bit out yet. Yeah, we can make holes bigger, uh, but with this system, you don't need to. They will custom 3D print an exact replacement to go in the downlight hole that you're taking this from. So I take out my old downlight, I measure the diameter of the hole that was left behind, yeah. and I use that measurement in order that I can then order myself a 3D printed one, which has all the benefits of LED technology, and that slides into the hole that was there before, choosing my bezel colour to suit what bezel colours can yeah. I choose. So yeah, so on the bench you've got some examples, we've fitted a grey one, we've got white, we've got the black, but then obviously you can tailor the inserts as well. So obviously you could, you could match as close as possible to what you might have had. Yeah. And there may be some very specific lighting requirements in terms of glare. Right. Uh, or you may want to improve the lighting. Yeah. You know, so if you've had problems with, say, dust in the past, you can even get them. This one here is an IP54 rating. <sighs> it seems too good to be true. My mum said that things were too good to be true. They probably are. So let's think about its green credentials. Yeah, so there's less embedded energy in making this. So if you think compared to this, this is what we're taking out. It's a traditional light fitting. It's quite heavy, yeah. Very heavy. Yeah. Probably worth a bit in a scrap. Actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you get the, obviously they can go off and be uh, recycled through the correct routes. But there's less embedded energy making this. Uh, there's less waste in the 3D printing process because you don't produce ah, right. lots of waste. You know, you're printing just the exact shape you want. So That's really uh, light as well. What's the benefit of being so light? Yeah, so lightweight. Um, you know, think of shipping. A lot of these things get shipped around the world. Um, these are made in Europe, so there's less energy in transportation. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's less energy compared to traditional die casting or injection mold processes as well. So, yeah. Okay, so you're selling me it. However, how simple is it to actually order a fitting that then gets printed? Should we have a look at that? Yeah, well, we love a configurator. So time to step into the configurator that's just for this uh, green space perfect fit range. Show me what you did in order to get this light fitting that's in front of me then. Okay, so let's start with the configurator and the most important thing is the cutout dimension. So that's how the process starts. So this is a 210 millimeter diameter that we need here. And then you'll see, yeah, it's changed on the side there. Yeah, got a slightly larger light fitting then as you increased its diameter. Yeah, so next, uh, color temperature. So I'm gonna go for a 4,000 Kelvin with a nice high color rendering. And then what you're doing here is matching it to the lamp that was in the original fixture. So you don't need to worry about lumen output. You're choosing an exact match for the lamps that the older fixture had in it. And you can have an emergency version as well, can you? You can, Gary. In some, although not in this version, there is a look hiding behind the scenes. There's an Interact Ready. We've looked at that system before. Great control system to add additional energy saving. As well as Dali dimming as well. Yeah. And then we can look at some uh, light output options in terms of controlling glare or possibly a higher IP rating on it. Stop those pesky flies getting into the fitting. So which one are you going to go for then? Uh, so I'm just going to go with this with a glare shield on it and uh, no additional IP protection on there. Uh, but emergency lighting option in there 
and I can choose the bezel color as well, Gary. So you've got black, you've got gray, and you've got the white one as well. Yeah. So we take white one to match what we've got originally. Yeah, and then our emergency light option. You can even see the configurator pops in the, the LED indicator on there as well. Nice little touch. Then you're thinking about how you're going to connect it and whether you want a lead already assembled with it. Yeah, if you have a marshalling box in the ceiling already, you can choose a compatible lead, but we're just going to go for our own wired option. And then it's a case of just add it to the quart basket. Okay, so you're going to pick a number now. I suppose you can go any number you like. I tell you, you can't have one. You can actually have one, Gary. So you can just order one light fitting. One light fitting. Wow, that's a pretty impressive. And then when you go through, so you've picked one, I see. You go through, add it to your basket, and then you'll be able to print off your data sheet, is that right? Yeah, print off that data sheet. Not 3D printed, Bill Gary, it's a normal printer. I've got that now, so that was the one that I got off the printer, which obviously I couldn't fit to the ceiling. There's your data sheet. So let's just have a quick glance at the product before we visit it in the quotation basket. If you'd like to try the configurator, just check out the link in the description below. So there we go, ready to request the quotation. Simple case of putting in your details as you would normally, and then obviously accept the privacy policy. Yeah. Just down here at the bottom. Yeah, you can put some additional notes in if you need to. And you'll be emailed your quotation along with the specification sheet we've seen, and somebody from Philips will be in contact with you within a couple of days. Okay, so where's the compromise then, Gordon? Uh, there isn't a compromise. You know, this is, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no compromise, so you can have from 150 to 280 millimetres in 5 millimetre steps. So wow, okay. That's the, the whole size you can deal with. They last, you know, well, certainly longer than the compact fluorescent. What warranty do they come with, though? So, a five year warranty, okay. and the lighting performance is 50,000 hours to L80. If you oh, don't right. know what L80 is, check out the uh, video we've made just about that, but that's uh, in short terms, that's 80% output after 50,000 hours. And we said they're IP54 and they can work in ambient temperatures from minus 15 all the way up to 40 degrees, so no yeah. compromise there either. Yeah, so you can, yeah, so this version's IP54, keep yeah. those pesky flies out. Um, obviously, other versions are IP20, uh, depending on the environment. But yeah, th there is no catch to it. Even comes in a nice, sustainable cardboard box there. There's only one little bit of plastic in there, and that's the shower cap uh, that's there to uh, protect dust as you install the fitting. But I believe Philips are even trying to work on a non-plastic version of that as well. Okay, so that's uh, that's it's fantastic. And we can print ourselves a light fitting. It's got all the benefits of a printed light fitting. However. How many do I have to really order in order that Philips are going to send me them out? So, believe it or not, you can order one light fitting. One. Just yeah. one. So, if I only wanted that one light fitting, as long as I go through the configurator, they'll send me just one. Yeah. So, you, you fill in the configurator, that goes off to Philips, and then it's supplied through your usual supply route through the wholesaler. For the first time ever, if it is too good to be true, it must be the green space perfect fit light fitting that's going to be sent to me. Now, I'm not expecting too many people to be able to do the next bit. Have you ordered one of these? Have you gone on to the configurator for Philips and got yourself a light fitting printed and delivered to you? We'd love to hear your feedback. Is it something that perhaps you didn't know existed until half an hour ago for me and probably instantly for you? And now all of a sudden you're thinking, wow, where can I use this? And this can get me out of a hole. Please leave those comments below and we'll try and get back to as many as we can. This is wow. Was that a pun there? Yeah. yeah. Out of a hole. Yeah. Terrible.